Hey Ev, I said I would do a critique for you this week and I am going to do just that and I will do that now. Um, so here we see one throw of each and they're going to compare and contrast some things um, that we um, probably talked about but I want to make sure you see them um, at least in video format. So we're going to look at your discus here and I'm going to watch and part of what we want to see is you seeing, let's see, yeah. So, okay. So when you start here, you have your shoulders and your hips are together and your feet. And they're all together. And when you start, like when you do a 360, they all stay together. However, when we take a throw, that foot falls behind because you initiate with your upper body. You have to initiate with your hip, your right hip to be specific. And then you also have to see something out here which slows your body from turning so fast. And if we watch your left arm turn, it turns all the way around and it comes out the back of the circle. And I don't know that we ever see you actually seeing anything. We can look at the discus here and see if it's any different. Um, I think you're, well, we still have to keep that chin on the chest thing, but I think that's, hopefully that's getting, going to get a little better if you keep practicing. Um, but once again, we see that same start, and I'm not sure that I actually see you picking up anything out here to look at to slow down the process. Remember, this is a side on entry in both side on. We don't, um, we don't step into the circle. We sweep into the circle. So the first thing entering should be the inside of your right foot. And as you can see, that right foot is way, way behind you because you don't start there. So it puts your whole thing behind, um, behind schedule, behind pace. We also look down here at your discus and we know that you do this where you're like breaking the finish line and you're leading with your chest rather than this leg. These are habits that we have to break. Um, discus a little bit further. So then we can see you step in. You step in, you're kind of looking down. Um, and then you, I think you do turn on the ball, ball of your foot here some, um, but probably not as much as we can. And then we also see, uh, we know about this and how that ball comes away from, comes away from your neck. That definitely, definitely has to improve. Or you could wind up hurting yourself and nobody wants that. Um, Let's see here, back. And then we look at your discus here and this arm, like we have to learn to stay square. And that arm is like almost scraping the ground. And you, your second pull is from way back there and you just kind of sling it and we see where it's going. It's heading out here because you just kind of sling it rather than pull it. These are all practice points, things that you need to do, need to work on. Um, if we're going to get, <coughs> excuse me, if we're going to get better at what we're doing, otherwise we'll kind of get stuck in place and we won't make the progress that we, that you need to make if you're ever going to be on the podiums um, at States and be the thrower that you can be. Um, I think that's about it. And, uh, I don't know. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.